Today we're going to change the starter rope on a steel MS-180 chainsaw. Using the flat head screwdriver, release the shroud by turning it clockwise. You can now remove the shroud. Using the torque spanner, remove the screw holding the handle in place. You will need to lift the hand guard out of its position. Then unscrew and fully remove the fuel filler and oil filler caps. It would be a good idea to do this repair when the tanks are empty. Then remove the three remaining torque screws holding the recoil assembly on. This will release the recoil assembly. Remember to remove the model plate if you are not replacing it. This can then be attached to your new recoil assembly. Pull the recoil to its maximum length and stop it from returning by holding the pulley. Once at maximum length, feed the pulley back round the other way to loosen it and release the tension. Now the tension has released, use pliers to remove the R-clip, washer and core. Once these are released, you can completely remove the pulley. Untie the knot at the end of the recoil rope and as a tip you can use pliers to help. Once that's released, completely detach from the recoil and starter handle. Feed your new starter rope through the top of the starter handle. Tie a tight knot at the top of the handle so it doesn't feed all the way through. Make sure this is secure. Feed the rope through the hole at the top of the recoil assembly. Next, feed the rope through the side of the pulley until it reaches the hole in the middle. Then pull through the hole. Once through, tie another tight knot to hold the rope in place. Tuck the excess rope in and make sure it's tight. Feed the rope clockwise around the pulley approximately three times and seat back in the assembly. Seat the pole and the washer making sure they're seated correctly. Using the pliers, grip the R-clip and fix back into position over the washer. Once they're secure, force the rope clockwise around the pulley three times to create tension for the recoil. Check that the recoil has enough tension by pulling it. You may need to further tighten the rope. After you have placed the recoil assembly onto your machine, check that the pulley is free with tension. Place the handguard back into its position and secure with the screw. Then fix the three remaining screws back onto the recoil assembly. Now screw the fuel filler caps back into the machine. Fix your shroud back into place and secure by turning the plastic bolt anti-clockwise. That's how you change the starter rope on a still MS-180. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.